Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm finally about to do this fairy garden, y'all. My DIY fairy garden. I'm pretty excited about it. Almost all the items came from the Dollar Tree. Maybe minus about two items. The main item that didn't come from there is this forest moss. It's preserved forest moss that I got from Dollar, not Dollar Tree. Look at me already messing up. I got this from Walmart. The reason I got it from Walmart is because my Dollar Tree was only carrying stuff like this. They have the faux moss stones. They don't have any of the moss sheets or anything like that I've seen others haul. So I picked this up because, you know, in the long run you get more in this bag anyway. This bag was about $2.97. If you got it from the Dollar Tree, you would probably have to buy about three bags of it anyway. So to me, it was worth the purchase. So I did get this from Walmart in their craft section, like uh, by the artificial flowers and the wreath forms and things like that. So let's get into it. I'm excited to craft with y'all and this might get a little bit messy. So I have my mat here and we're gonna get it done. So this is from the Dollar Tree. This is the Garden Collection Planter Trolley. So it says it includes four wheels. This is something that you just put plants on, honestly, and you can roll it around. We're going to use it to house our fairy garden. I'm going to be making two fairy gardens because I have a lot of stuff and I think it'll be very cute on my porch. So the first one we're making out of this, uh, the base of it, <laughs> we're making out of Dollar Tree stuff. So let's go ahead and get into it. Let's start by using this floral foam. It's a circular floral, floral foam. And I recently picked this up. So let's we'll see how this does with everything. Y'all, you know, there may be moments where I'm not talking and this will be a longer video. So make sure you grab a snack or something. Got my trash can over here by me. Okay, let's see how I'm gonna do this thing. The reason I'm putting this down is because I just want there to be more of a base for this. Just a little bit more of a base. I might have to I need it to trim a little bit of it. I might need to trim a little bit more. And I might use, sorry, I'm all up in y'all's face. We'll do that like that. I may use this. See if it'll fit in there how I want it now. For the most part, it does. That's what I wanted. I want it more of a base. Now later on, you'll see me use another thing from Walmart, but that's for the bigger fairy garden. This is a small one. So, got the base down. I'm gonna open this up. And I'm sure there are better techniques out there. This is my first one again. So, this is uh, Fairy Gardens for Beginners. <laughs> and I did draw some of my inspiration from Jody's Craft Room. I'll link her channel down below. She's honestly the only um, person that I follow that does a bunch of DIYs. A lot of this, well, some of the ideas that I may use were inspired by the fairy garden I saw her do. Just gonna try and dump it all out here. See if I can break it up and stuff it up in there. The floral moss or forest moss um, definitely smells mossy. <laughs> For sure. That's an interesting odor. Now that I have that spread out for the most part, there are a few areas where it could be a little bit better. But all in all, it's kind of uneven. Kind of what you want. You want it to look like a forest or a garden or something, right? <laughs> so, that was one bag for this right here. I'm going to go ahead and plug up my hot glue gun because I think I want to glue down the houses. And this is what I saw Miss Jody do. And it makes a lot of sense because if it's just sitting there, then it can fall. We don't want that. So let's get the glue gun nice and hot. Now, while the glue gun is heating up, I'm going to go ahead and open up this little mountain of foam, I guess you can call it. And I'm actually going to hide some of, um, some of the moss gonna put some of the moss over it is what I'm trying to say goodness I'm gonna hide 
with that the best that I can. And I'm actually going to go back and glue a little bit of the moss down onto this little heel to get it to stay. Now, I'm thinking that trying to figure out how I want this thing to go. Uh, like I said, I've got a lot of fairy garden stuff. Some of this stuff needs things taken off of them. It sit like this. I can figure out a way to stand it up in there. Glue it down like that. A little gazebo. I'm happy I know what that is now. It's a gazebo. Because <laughs> I didn't know before. So I glue that down like that. Glue that down in there like that. Right now I'm just going through and placing kind of where I think I want things. And that'll make the process a little bit faster when it's time to glue stuff down. I don't know if I want that there necessarily. Thinking maybe I'll put it back here, a little seat back there. On the side, maybe. Okay. I need to figure out if I want some of these animals in there. I have so many of these. Not so many of this one, but the different animals, you know. And uh, some of these little pieces right here I could put around this little house. I'm going to end up gluing a lot of that down. I'm just gluing down some of the little things that I want to include in there. Putting a generous amount of glue to make sure that it sticks. And my little uh, hedgehog or porcupine, whatever, a little bunny. I have this little seat thing. I don't think I'm going to include that in this one. But I want to go ahead and try and put maybe, let's see, maybe some little stones and some little white rocks. Just gonna try and play around with it a little bit and see my vision for it all. <laughs> I don't have a vision, I'm just doing stuff. <laughs> just doing stuff. around it or something and these little stones you get from the Dollar Tree as well and that'll help weigh down some of that moss too 
Okay, that's enough of those. Let me see if I want to use some of the white ones now. And again, these white stones here, they leave residue. So be careful, they leave white residue. If y'all haven't checked out my succulent DIY, it's a very short one. I will link that video down below. Now with these, I want to be a little conservative with where I put them. I don't plan on gluing these down though. I just want to put them around the gazebo. <laughs> I had it on the tip of my tongue, but for some reason I wanted to say that it was the atrium. Who knows? But thank y'all for correcting me and letting me know what that was. Not an atrium, a gazebo. And that white residue, it washes off just fine. Y'all see, I just got my nails done and I'm doing this because it'll be fine. It'll wash off. All of this stuff will wash off. And I'm thinking for the bigger fairy garden, I will make a separate video for that. So this will be the small fairy garden using 99% Dollar Tree items. And the bigger fairy garden will probably be like 80% Dollar Tree items. Something like that. I love how this is coming out so far though. And another idea I had, I don't know if I'm gonna use it in the small one or the big one, but you can also put some of these uh, wire lights around it, you know? You can either kind of maybe tape them somehow around the base of it, or you could put it within there. Not sure how I'm gonna do it yet, but that's an idea. Am I done with the white rocks? Not quite. I'm gonna put a few more. There's the little ones in there. I thought about doing like a Dollar Tree DIY Zen garden. Oops, I dropped a rock. I need to find a container from the Dollar Tree to do it in though. I might, that might be my next project. I don't know. Even though I just told y'all what it is. I was telling y'all about this fairy garden, so it really doesn't matter. I'm not worried about, you know, nobody taking my ideas because I'm sure somebody's already did it. I just like doing my version of stuff. Putting my own spin on it. So the gazebo has these nice little um, rocks around it. Now I'm going to take one of these succulents that I just picked up. Gosh, it's a little dusty, but I'm gonna take this and just take it up out of here. Took it out of that black container and take the styrofoam off of it. And then I want to stick this down in here. Kind of have that on the side like that. And I just kind of like what it does for this. And I'm gonna save the other one that I have because I got two of them. Save the other one for the next area garden. And it's fine to make two. <laughs> I bought, you know, a lot of this stuff, so I want to use it up. And I can have one on my front porch and my back porch. Now I'm taking one of these little fairy dolls from the Dollar Tree. This is not typically what people use, but again, I'm putting my spin on it. That's what she looks like. Ain't she cute? Okay, and no shoes on already, and she bends. Look, she could sit right in front of the house or something, y'all. Look how I did her little hair. I think that's actually cuter. <laughs> her little messy bun. Ain't it cute? It's cute. 
comment down below and say that it's cute. That will help me feel better. <laughs> okay, now I want to sit her back here. She's just chilling next to our little house. She's not bothering anybody. She's staying in her lane. It's all good. Now, <laughs> now that we've had our fun with that, let's put these little white stones to the side. We still got a hot glue gun plugged up. So I want to go ahead and put one of these little welcome things since we didn't actually use the welcome house. This little welcome sign here that I'm going to use. And I'm going to glue it and probably just put it right here. Let's stick that right there. Let that glue do its thing. Okay. And then I want to go in. These white rocks look stupid. Not completely. They don't look completely stupid. Now I'm going to turn this towards me just so I can get a better look at what I have going on here. And then we can proceed. You just find a little spot for this owl. I wanted the owl to kind of sit on something, but we could put the owl down here somewhere. It's chilling. Do owls come and chill on the ground? I don't know if they do, but this one's going to. I don't know if they just be chilling on the ground or not, but today they will. Gosh, that's teeny tiny. Look at that. These little parts are so teeny tiny. Where did I say I wanted to put this at? Look, a mess. <laughs> a mess. Don't be talking about me in the streets, y'all. <laughs> For my struggle fairy garden. She doesn't have the dog with her. She's on her doing her own thing. She's single out in these streets and she's got her little house and she's an independent young woman living on her own in her little fairy garden land. Y'all, that is <laughs> the first little fairy garden that I'm making. I think it came out okay for my first one. It's cute. This was fun to make. Just talking with y'all and making this and being creative and even just making this I know what I'm going to do in the next one and what I'm not going to do so I hope that you all did enjoy this video I know it's a long one but hey you know crafting takes time if you did like the video then please give it a thumbs up I really appreciate it subscribe to my channel if you have not already hope that y'all are having a great day and I'll talk to you again in the next fairy garden video bye